morning, people. Good morning. It is Mandy and Shannon. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It is Monday. Monday. <laughs> the 8th. Just forgot it was Monday. Me too. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, when I went to the store on Friday, mm-hmm. I got all the, I made a list of all the tools. Well, we have tools for restock. The black plier, the square plier, the tweezer. Mm-hmm. I think a bunch of vintage items, the poker and the cutty thing and the whatever else. And I got those red old faithful clasps you were wanting, the little ones. Oh, good. Yeah. So question, do you want to run those through or do you want to just repost them on the website? We can just post them. Just post them restock. All right, you heard it here first. We're just going to post the restock. <laughs> What's going on with this? I got to turn this. I don't like this. Cord. Hello, everybody. Hello. I see a lot of you guys are here, but I, I don't have my mousey. So we're going to start with Boot Scoot and Beth. Hello, Boot Scoot and Beth. Good afternoon, Anita. Hello, Coral. Hi, Lois. Good morning. Good morning. I put the little bot. Did you see me? Doing night bot. Uh, good morning, Rose. Good morning, Blossom Learning. I'm up. I had a call on East Coast. Disappointed. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear about your disappointments. Hello, good morning, Debbie. Hello, hello. Amy's here. Good morning. Cynthia's here. Everybody's here. Giggles is in the house. Hi, Kim. What are we posting, restock? Restocking tools. So I got tweezers, our black plier that we love so much, the chain nose, and the square. I've got a couple of hole punches, I think. I'll put I'll put them all in the new category. Yeah. So there we go. Stuff and things. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning, Rhonda. Um, can I see your mouse real quick? I think I missed on a question. Good morning, Tina back to the top. Hello, Linda. Good morning, Janice. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jimmy. Hello. I don't know how the live sale works at the risk of sound. Oh, don't worry about it, Beth. No, you don't have to feel any kind of way. It's really easy. We're going to explain the whole thing. We do it every show. Gonna drool today. I have to order a new phone. I will be bead broke. Oh, sad, Coral. Sad. <laughs> That's so sad for you. <laughs> Good morning. Okay. Hi, uh, Lois. Sweet. I need a new chain nose. Can you just add one to my order? I love the square one I got. Uh... Sure, Shannon's gonna write it down. Um, FYI, as a reminder to those who have, I just am gonna put this out there. Some of you ordered on, what day was that? Tuesday last week. So you ordered your order Monday and then we had that training sale with Phyllis. So I just wanna just put that in your mind because those will be added to your invoices today. We were gonna roll them up together so you only have one to pay for. So just a FYI, if you ordered from that sale, you have stuff, it's been sorted, and it's waiting to get posted, okay? As a reminder. Okay, you all are awesome. Yay! Okay, so we are gonna go through how to order from the Claim It Live feed sale. If you are new here, don't even worry about it. It's super easy. Um, <clears throat> and we are going to also be looking at the deal of the week before we get started. Um, announcements. I don't know that there's any announcements. Shannon's going to be gone next week. Um, next week, Shannon's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you see the fear just go across my face? All week. I guess she's going to Florida to go do Florida business. Uh, I'll be here in the rain. I think... It's supposed to be 70 on Saturday. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be really nice. I think it's spring. 
I was dreaming about the garden. The setup of the garden. I want to get this cool thing for out front. It's like um, it's like planters. The raised ones. Yeah, where they kind of like, it looks like a pyramid almost. So it's like raised and then a little bit lower and a little bit lower. I to think put I've seen those. Front of the this side where it's mm -hmm. stupid. I have one side. <laughs> I have one side of my garden in the front bed that is stupid. It never does anything. It's horrible. I, you can't even till it because there's so many rocks. I don't know. So anyways. I was dreaming about that. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? Good morning, everyone. Happy Solar Eclipse Day. Oh, yes, it is also Solar Eclipse Day. I don't think we'll be able to see it here. No. Uh, we can't even see the sun. <laughs> the sun is not even over here today. It's currently raining. <laughs> I had my show on Saturday. A bust. Oh, no was way better than this one. Little foot traffic and those that came didn't buy. Oh, that is so sad, Barry. I'm so sorry to hear about that. It's so much work to get out there and get set up and get going that, and then it's just sucky when that happens. Oh, Tina's in the eclipse area. My son is in there watching it. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. So we are going to switch over to Shannon's screen. We're going to show you how to order from the sale. Here we are on Shannon's screen. So the first thing that we're going to do uh, throughout the sale is you're going to see this live button. It should be red. If it is not red, you should click it. That is going to bring you up to where we are in the video. Take out any buffering. Buffering happens because of computer, slow computers, slow Wi-Fi, things of this nature. So you just want to keep an eye on that and make sure you're up where we are. Okay, then we're going to scooch on over to the gear. We're going to push that. We're going to click quality. Then we're going to click 1080. This is going to put us into high definition. There we are in high definition. Okay, then we're going to like this video because it's free. <laughs> and then we're going to go down to the description. You're going to click more in the description. The first thing you're going to see at the top is a link to the SKU list. On this SKU list is all of the things that we are selling with prices and how many we have and the numbers and all that business. So if you click that, it's going to take you to our website, thunderhorsedescended.biz, and it's going to show you the SKU list. So you can print it, keep it up on your screen, whatever you want to do with that. Um, the next one that you're going to see is a link to our website, www.thunderhorsedescendant.biz. Biz for business, okay? Um, so that is our, where you are going to go after 8 o'clock tonight, central time, because that's how long it takes me to get everything together. Uh, you're going to go to that web address. You're going to go to the bead store. Then you're going to go to custom orders section. It's a section right on there and in the drop down. And then you're just going to look for your name. Okay. You are going to put your item into your cart. So it's just going to say add to the cart. You're going to add it to the cart. It adds to the cart as though it is one item, but it is your entire order. In the description of that, you are going to see an uh, itemized list of all the things that are in your order and your order will have a photo of all the things that are in your order. So you should check it. Okay, before you buy it, you should check it, make sure that's correct, okay? If there's an issue, for some reason, you should text us or message us prior to buying it. We will fix it, whatever you need fixing, and then you can continue on, put it in your cart and buy it. Okay, we're gonna go down and we are going to- You forgot to tell them how to buy from the sale. Oh, well, I was editing. <laughs> How to buy from the sale. Basically what you're going to do is you are going to put the SKU number. Here's an example of a SKU number. You are going to put that into the comment, right? In your comments, your live comments. And you are going to put the SKU number times how many of those items that you want. So let's say that you wanted this and you wanted two of them. The SKU number is R45. You put R45 times two, okay? So we have limited items. Shannon is going to be writing all this down as we're going through the sale. Uh, we take the orders as they come in, as we see them on our side in our comments. 
Um, and then she will read them back to let everybody know who got the item. Okay, so you don't get the item unless Shannon confirms that you got in on how many ever we had. Okay, down here just talks about what to expect in your order. So a lot of you guys have been around here for a while. You can all, you know, say that we do our shipping. We are very good with shipping. We do ship insurance on the shipping. Uh, you are going to get a ticket into a, a drawing for free stuff. You're going to get insurance. You're going to get an itemized uh, invoice showing your items. Uh, free gift. All things. It's going to be good. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, we do ship by weight. Just letting you know, we weigh all of our items before we ever put them on the website. We weigh all of your custom orders with my little scale. So they are shipped by weight and they are pretty accurate. Should we get into a situation where uh, it's like excessive amount of shipping for some reason, we do return store credit to, on, on your account. Okay, down here is where ours, this is our email address and our text number. Should you have any questions or concerns about any of your things, this is what you should do. You should either email thunderhorsesdescendant at gmail.com or text us on this phone number here. And uh, we will tr uh, be keeping that phone, uh, one of us usually has it during the day. <laughs> okay. Okay, down here is just more links. This is links to our Facebook. Get involved with our Facebook. Get involved with all our social media stuff. Join the FOC, all the things. We're going to go back up to the top, and we are going to make sure that we are in the chat. You're going to change this to live chat. Okay? So there you go. You want to be in live chat instead of top chat because live chat shows how the comments are coming in live. Right? Alrighty. Is that everything? Did we do it? Mm -hmm. We did it, she said. I'm about 50 miles from, I can't see the word, New Hampshire. Good morning. Hi, Linda. Oh. So some, are you, some of what you guys are saying is some of you are going to get to see the eclipse. That's fun. All right. Let's get the party started, shall we? We're gonna go down to the mat. Okay, today we are going to talk about the last thing. Is it the last thing? No, where is it? We're gonna talk about R3131. That doesn't have a number because Randy is, you know, not on it. Thirty-one, thirty-one. We have eleven of these. These are the deal of the week. Here's your number. These are your deal of the week. So I started recently started doing these. This is pretty new new business here. Um, I've been having Phyllis put these together. So these are just like this one is a little bead mix. So sometimes they're different. Um, this one is just a little bead mix. Show it to you. Hey -o. <laughs> so this one has sesame jasper as a focal. I was kind of thinking I would I would use mine as a bracelet doings, right? And then maybe a pair of earrings. So this one is a sesame jasper. Uh, the drill is sideways, so we'll actually lay it this way, like diamond ways. Uh, Sesame Jasper, also known as Kiwi Jasper, and then it still has more of these two of these uh, green amethysts, these really high quality green amethysts uh, in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you how much this is. Let's see if I remember. Nine dollars. It's nine dollars. <laughs> it's nine dollars. Thirty-one, thirty-one. Uh, and then it has these, I found these in the stash. They're a little, uh, you know, I've been in my seat. I've been in the sky and I've been in the ocean. I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, so we got these little seashells. So these are really cute. You get four of those. You get the Sesame Jasper. And then I thought, 
We could do earrings with these. You could paint them. They're little wood pieces. They're little wood cutouts. They look like leaves. You get three. So if you wanted to do one on a necklace or one on a bracelet, then do matching little earrings. I thought that would be cute. The rest of these are fire polish. So there you go. That is your deal of the week for nine buckaroonies. If you want to give her a whirl. Somebody asked me why is Sesame Jasper called Kiwi Jasper as well, and I am not sure. But I did look it up, and I am not sure. <laughs> if you guys know, please let us know. So there we go. It's a little deal of the week. R3131 is sold out. Sold out, she said. For R3131, I have two for Ange, two for Kimberly, two for Linda Folk, two for Rebecca, one for Amy, one for Tina, and one for Boot Scoot and Buggy. That's Boot Scoot and Beth. I said, I'm going to call you Boot Scoot and Beth. <laughs> Thunderverse Descendant sells all of their crystals for three dollars. Three buckaroonies if you want one. R thirty-one nineteen. Three buckaroonies. So these guys are nineteen inches. You could do a whole necklace with just one of these if you wanted. I love that for me. It's a little mixy. I'm gonna show you a little mixy. So you got some like <clears throat> some dark green, a little bit of this like cream color, kind of a little uh, matte green, transparent green, even an opalite. There you go. And a clear. We love that. Thirty-one nineteen. High teach line dancing. At least I will again if my hip ever heals up. Oh my. Well, you should call your line dancing class Boot Scoot and Beth. <laughs> Let me get a warmer up or shot here. really tired um, I'm still wearing my brace but I feel like it's getting better Jefferson was home this weekend so he helped me with like the up and down of the laundry doings which was really nice good morning hi Karen for 3119 I have two for Ange two for Rita two for Blossom Learning one for Amy one for Christine one for Boot Scoot and Buggy, one for Carol, one for Rebecca, two for Rose Humbert, and one for Karen Nelson. R3119. One 
twenty. <gasps> oh yeah. These guys here are six millimeter light green Chinese crystal bead strand. Six millimeter. The length is sixteen inches. Sold by the strand. Three buckaroonies. We have ten. We have ten. These ones are pretty cool. They have like um, the AB or whatever on the side is almost like a blue flash, like a blue purple on the green. That's pretty cool. Where's BK? Well, I don't know. It's Monday. She might be working or something. She's always working. <laughs> Summer is coming. Yes, summer is coming. I need green. It's my lucky day. Yay. I do love this color green. It's a little green. lighter. I mean, it shows kind of dark with the whole mass there. But yeah. It's such a nice color. It is a little bit lighter, like, here. Like, you know. But it's good. We love that for us. Hello! Oh, they called her in. I just sat down. New guy. <laughs> new guy. Take it. Tell new guy he's got to get his crap together before bead time. <laughs> Good morning, PK. For 31.20, I have two for Rita, one for Karen, one for Kimberly, one for Blossom Learning, one for Carol, and one for Ange. We have three left of 31.20. 120. I was getting some greens, of course. You know, I'm trying it out because I'm looking for those wedding greens, those emerald colored greens. I've been trying some things. I'm going to move this a little bit. All right, next up. Green! <laughs> next up, our 3121. We only have eight of these. These are a very interesting color. I don't know if they're going to... Oh, yeah, they're doing it. They're like a red-orange. Like a blood-orange? I don't even know. They're so good. They're I just want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> These ones are 8 millimeter. Were, oh, it says red. Red Chinese crystal teardrop bead strands. Uh, these are teardrops, okay? 22 inches on the teardrops. I wanted to say they were kind of like those strawberry ones that we had the other week, but these are way more orange compared to those, uh, but they're so good. Um, they're very bright and summery and yummy, and I just want to eat them all. You shouldn't. Don't eat your beads. <laughs> Don't lick them. Don't even think about licking them. Don't eat them. Don't lick them. Don't put them in your mouth. <laughs> Our 3121, we only have eight strands of these guys. There are three buckaroonies if you want some. 22 inches on the strand. R3121 is sold out. Sold out, she says. Look, is that not just the yummiest? I could just sit here. I should just have a, I should just do videos where I just make the crystals go like this in the, in the video. <laughs> Yummy! For R3121, I have two for Rita, one for Ange, one for Carol, one for Sherry, one for Christine, one for Danielle, and one for Rebecca. R3121 is sold out. Ange, do exclamation point yummy with no spaces. I am willing to put in the time with the new guy because soon I And only do mine. No, I'm fine. I'm not going crazy. <laughs> she, ah, she does evil laughing. <laughs> Insert evil laughing here. <laughs> there you go, Ange. So when you do exclamation yummy, then it makes the night bot say, don't lick your beads. Okay, I think this is the last of the crystals. Okay, next up are 
$31.22. We have 10 of these. Ugh. These are nice, too. <laughs> Do you want me to put you down for one? <laughs> yes, maybe. Well, I'll wait and see what happens. I don't remember them being this vibrant when we put them on the skewers. Maybe, maybe we should put them in light when we do yes. the skewers. <laughs> R3122, we have 10 of these. These are the same size drops as before. These are 8 by 6 millimeter, 22 inches long in this super amazing blue color. Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Three bucks. Can't beat it. Think of all the dangly earrings you could be making for your ugly earring shop, Shannon. Just saying. So good. R3122. Just ugly earrings, ink. <laughs> You better get it coined, Shannon. Someone's going to steal it. We have mm -hmm. been talking about it on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Phyllis has asked me to be present on Friday um, to help her make a, a, a gift for her friend with a patina painting and something about the buffalo mm, and yeah, then something else it. it's a it's a dangly thing for the truck and she's mm. like do you have time to help me on friday and i was like sure so we're gonna do beating on friday shannon if you are not doing anything i have to get ready to leave oh sad <laughs> hi oh silly goose no beating for you then mm. R3122 is sold out. For R3122, I have two for Rita, two for Ange, one for Carol, one for Sherry, one for Rebecca, one for Christine, one for Danielle, and one for Lois. R3122 is sold out. Lois is going to have to get more of those so she can get some herself. <sighs> yeah. Always the case. Okay, because, okay, I see where I was going with this. <laughs> All right, hear me out. If that was me, and I had blue crystals, which I don't, but if I did. <laughs> R3123, uh, we have 12 of these. These are little earring pairs. They're $1.75 for the pair. They're red bronze, okay? Or vintage copper, whatever you guys call them. I call them uh, red bronze. And here's what they look like. And here's the back. And just think how that blue is going to be popping on these guys. You could do a little paint. They've got one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> excuse me, five holes down here. Now, you don't have to use these as earring components, but we are selling them by the pair because that's, that's just what we're doing. Um, you don't have to use them as earring components. You could use them as a connector for necklace, multi-strand necklace, and then chain up here. You know, whatever you want to do. You could get two and go like this. And then you could just put your clasp here, multi-strand bracelet around. That's pretty good. Why does this one seem like it's a different color? Is it just me? It is me. It's me. Anyway. It's me. She's it's me. me. Uh, so anyway, we have 12 of these. They're $1.75 if you would like some. I'll put a little dot on this side because I want to check out of this bright lights. Does this seem different than this? Maybe I'm crazy. Totally possible. <laughs> right. 
R3123 is sold out. For R2123, <laughs> for R3123, I have three for Kimberly, two for Karen Nelson, one for Carol, one for Blossom Learning, one for Rebecca, one for Sherry, one for Danielle, and two for Ange. R3123 is sold out. <coughs> it's a mishy smash. Okay, Shannon. You want to run these through with a letter? Or you want to do a graph? These are the Art Nouveau pendants. If you do um, by letter, are you going to put more than one out? No. At a time? Do you want me to? No. Okay, I'll do them by the letter. Okay. One at a time. Deal. <laughs> Deal. Good let's morning, Miss Tacos. Let's shuffle our letters up. Let's make it fun, huh? <laughs> Hi, Miss Tacos. Where you been at, lady? All right. Let's do this first one, letter R. For letter R, these are the... <clears throat> Excuse me. These are the Art Nouveau pendants. You guys have seen these before. We used them in a in a box. A four of R. These guys right here are all three dollars a piece. They are double sided. Okay, so we have four of R. <clears throat> we use these in the. Uh, I don't remember which box it was, but we did we did them in the box. Was it the June box? <clears throat> I don't remember. But anyway, uh, they're $3, so they are acrylic, they are plated, and then they are covered with a, a, I don't know what this is that they've covered them with. But anyway, we have this gal, letter R. I'm going to write it on the bag so we know. Because again, you know, I'm prepping. <laughs> Trying out some stuff. I'm prepping for the wedding night. I love the orange and green together. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, those are letter R. For letter R, I have one for Rita and one for Linda Renz. We have two left of R. Rebecca, I have it on for one of R. This is letter J. We have four of J. They're double-sided, $3 a piece if you want one. This is the design on this gal. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this is the little headpiece I was talking about that I wanna make for me. See the little headpiece? It goes up around the head down the front of the, say, the part, and then into the forehead, and connects to the earrings. I think this other gal's wearing one too. J is sold out. J is sold out, they said. I want to say, I want to say it was Rosanna who worked with this one from her bundle. Mary, they, they do make great earrings, too. Yeah. For Jay, I have one for Rita, one for Rebecca, one for Carol, and one for Linda Folk. Jay is sold out. So, I think for this one that we just did, Jay, I think Rosanna has some videos on her channel using this one, because I think she got this one and maybe another one. Uh, just in case you needed some ideas. Me, I worked with this one on the channel. This was the one that I used. We have, this is a letter Q, and we have five of these. So there is a video, a project video online with this gal. If you're interested. Um, if you are interested, it will be under the play box, uh, playlist, Thunder Horse Descendants month, Monthly Inspiration Bundle. That's the name of the playlist on our website or on our YouTube. 
Thunderverse Descendants monthly inspiration bundle. So I have projects in there using this one. This is cute, and we have five. They are three dollars. That is cool. I looked for her. I couldn't find her. <laughs> I think these are all ladies, Coral. Right? They're all ladies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we have two left of Q. For Q, I have one for Rita, one for Rebecca, and one for Linda Folk. Is Rosanna Rose's Garden is her page? Yes. This one is letter U. We have five of these. This gal. It's also an orange and a green. You know me. Very cool. Three buckaroonies if you want one. These are letter U. Did I measure them? <clears throat> I didn't measure them. Did I? No. <laughs> Looks like she is seeing a spider in the garden. Oh. She looks scared. Letter U. We have two left of U. For U, I have one for Rita and two for Rebecca. We have two left of U. I forgot to write those two down. I was writing the description down on the bottom anyways. Good job, Shannon. <laughs> Are they double-sided? Yes, they are double-sided. K, this one is K. Is this lady? So the reason I got these again is these are in the Art Nouveau style. These are actually all done by the same artist. Um, if you're new here, I'm doing an Art Nouveau wedding, so we're going to be sending out some um, kits to people who said, who said that they would wanted to help us uh, make wedding jewelry for my guests, people who had volunteered. So I'm in the process of getting some stuff and putting some stuff together, trying some things. So we have six of these, Shannon. Oh, six. Six. I thought that was five. They're double-sided. These are acrylic. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich sounds delicious right now. It actually does. We don't have any bread. <laughs> Who doesn't have bread? Have a good day, Anita. Or evening. I yes. Guess. I would love to help. Yeah. Well, I'm just gathering stuff right now. I've been gathering for a while. And then we will see. Uh, you know, when I make when I, when when I do it or whatever, I'll let everybody know. Kimberly. She doesn't have bread either. Yeah, we don't roll like that. <laughs> I was going to make bread this weekend, but Jeff was hogging the kitchen, as he normally does. So these are letter K. I, I definitely would try one, Mary. Deep fried P, B, and J. I would, I would try it. I would try it. For sure. For sure. You know what I really like? Deep fried pickles. Mm. But uh, you know what? I really can't have those because they're just all salt. <laughs> and this is really bad. They're so bad. Coral says grilled PB&Js. Oh my gosh, I never even tried that. What have we been I doing would, with our life? I would try that as well. I wish we had bread. We could try that today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could try them both, but here we are with no bread. Well, if we started now, we could have bread in four hours. <laughs> <laughs> For 
K, I have one for Rebecca and one for Christine. We have four left of K. S. Here's S. We have four of S. Now this gal has a little armband on. That's cute. She has a headdress and an armband. Cute, 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 cute. She has more of a rectangle. And we have four of those. Three macaroonies. I'm finally going home after four days and three nights at my mom's. I hope to catch you in an hour. <laughs> S is sold out. S is sold out, they said. Send Phyllis to bring bread. <laughs> Stat. <laughs> Be like, hey, Phyllis, on your way over, you want to pick us pick up bread? <laughs> For S, I have two for Rebecca, one for Linda Renz, and one for Carol. Mm -hmm. is S mind. is sold out. Degradable. Uh, they are probably not biodegradable because they are acrylic. So that is plastic. Um, so there's that. But with all plastics, you know, this is what we got. That is true, Mary. Those blue ones would look great with that. With num or letter S. With the, the blue crystals? Those blue ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably with this one as well. This is the last one. Well, this one is letter I. See her headdress? A gland. Oh, she has like the calendar going around her head. That's cool. A nice necklace. This one's kind of giving like, uh, what are those decoder things down here? Like decoder stuff. You know, it's called a thing. These are letter I. They're three dollars. Good morning, Karen. Uh, it's like, do you know what I'm talking about, Shannon? It's like a brawn metal thing and you spin it and it decodes things. It has a name. It's like, it, it was like a, it was like a thing. A barcode? No. It was like something they used back in the day and they were they were like metal and they had twisty things on the end and then they had these like all these little letters and stuff and things and then you would like do it a certain way and then it would like decode a message. I can't remember what it's called. <sighs> what I am saying, so they may be lasting through the zombie issues. <laughs> Zom zombie apocalypse? Yes, they will be. They will be lasting through the zombie a a, 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 pop, a, cop, a, cop, a pop. Yep, what? that that. <laughs> <laughs> apocalypse. Apocalypse. There you go. That I, that Codex? took that took concentration. Mm -hmm. It is Monday. I'll forgive you. A codex. Maybe. I don't know. I have to look it up. Great news. It's going on with Karen. Good morning. Back from the oncologist. Playlist for 1396. Lois since the start treated. Oh, well, lovely. That is great, Karen. Hi, Bonnie. That is why I said issue. <laughs> I'll see you, Rebecca. For I, I have one for Carol, one for Rebecca, and one for Linda Folk. We have one left of an I. One left of I. Right eye on the bank. Right, that is all of those for the Art Nouveau pendants. All this talk of peanut butter and jay has made me hungry. Thank you, Rebecca. I have it on for the last eye. The eye is sold out. Oop. Woot woot. Okay. Oh, I got it. Moving on to the next one here. R3125. <clears throat> we have seven of these. These are the gear packs. 
They're $1.25. You'll get four pieces in the package. They're all different and they don't match. Okay, these are the ones that I was using on the Unseen and Unbothered show the other day where we made our necklace with the leather flat check, uh, check glass. These are the little gears. So we will randomly choose a gear pack for you. They all have four pieces, but um, they're not all the same. Some of them have pointers and none of them are like matchy, okay? Just so you know. R3125 is sold out. R3125 is sold out. We're in our uh, steampunk era right now, I guess. We are all over the place. When I say we, I mean me. <laughs> I'm in my steampunk, under the sea, celestial doings. That's what, I'm, that's what I got going on. In the Art not Nouveau period of time. <laughs> I'm a wreck. <sighs> for R3125, I have two for Kimberly, one for Sandy, one for Angel, one for Carol, one for Debbie, and one for Ange. R3125 is sold out. Mary says, Art Nouveau and Steampunk is a very interesting combination. That is an interesting combina combination. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we have our 3126. We have paired these up. These are little uh, lapis pairs. Uh, so I'll show them to you. They're $4 for the pair, and we have only five pairs. You can't get it open. Hold up. So we have done our best to match these up according to the stone doings, right? So they are faceted, they have top drill, and they're just super cute. So I thought these would be like earring doings, right? Well, like little pairs for earrings. Can't get this to hang up. But you could do whatever you wanted. If you were doing those little tiny necklaces, like with just the chain and like a little tiny thing, this might be the way to go, man, for $4. You could make two little tiny pendants for those girls who like little tiny things, if you want. R3126 is sold out. Sold out, she says. For R3126, I have two for Kimberly, one for Tina, one for Beth, and one for Angel. R3126 is sold out. Me, she's fish. I had a lovely day on Friday when I went to the store. I showed a bunch of pictures uh, on the Facebook group. I went to the boutiques, uh, the used boutiques out in St. Croix. So if you didn't know this, I used to work for a bunch of boutiques out in St. Croix. They've all since changed and like became different stores and stuff. But up here in uh, Minnesota, and this is St. Croix in Wisconsin, but Minnesota, Wisconsin, they do a lot of, um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's like a used store. It's like a used boutique. So they just kind of have like, it's like antiques, used things, crafted, handcrafted things. But they're not like super crazy prices. Like they're kind of like used prices, but a little bit higher than used prices. Um, so like, I don't know, let's just say like averaging like $5 you know six dollars nothing crazy but not like a dollar you know um so i go there uh quite a lot and there's one a really cool one it's called vintage 136 in st croix if you ever happen to be over there highly recommend uh they have a lot of really cool things it's just a vibe you know it's just like a vibe so uh i get a lot of books there they have like kind of like niche books and like different things like that so I got a really cool book over the weekend. Of course, you know, I got it about book. I actually got two. <laughs> Who me? Books? You said what now? <laughs> Cindy, 3125 is sold out. And Randy Angel has a question. Oh. 
is the right word. Hello, I am late. Hi, Cindy. Do, do, do. Angel, Angel, can you get more of these? Uh, yes, I can. I believe I can. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. Carrie Powers. Welcome in. R3127 is up next. So here we have these guys. These guys are $5.50 if you want one. These are stainless steel gold, gold plated stainless steel chains. <clears throat> and these guys here are 24 inches, so they're $5.50. We have some 18 inch ones on the website that are silver. Um, those ones are five bucks. These ones are 550. They are gold, stainless steel, plated stainless steel. We have 40 of them, so quite a few. Uh, if you want one, maybe this is where you put your little lapis. R3127. Yeah, they already have the findings and everything. Let me get one out. I just like to keep them on these tags because otherwise I don't want to have a big, you know, a chain miss. You know that thing? So they have all the hard, the stainless steel hardware, jump rings, lobster, and the chain. Ready to go. Pendant ready, as they say. 24 inches. Hello. Can I get on the back order for some gears? I wrote I wrote her down. I didn't know if we could get more. I think we can. I, I wrote you so down, much. Cindy. And I Angel, I wrote you down for um some more of those lapis. So we'll get more and then We call them second hand stores here, Karen. Yeah, um, yeah, so, well, we have, like, second-hand stores, or, like, I guess maybe they're thrift shops, right? Uh, to me, the second-hand store and the thrift shop is the same thing. I would, at least in this area, I would consider that the same, same thing. thing. Yeah, and then we have these kind of vintage used boutique antique store. stores, I don't know what to call them. And literally, they're everywhere. They're they're everywhere. Any little town around here, between here and TF, there's probably, I don't know, 60? Literally 60. <laughs> um, especially if you go, like, through Chisago and Center City. So I used to work, and when I say work, Shannon's still writing, so I'm just going to. So when I say I, like, worked at these places, so I used to work at one in St. Croix Falls, and so basically they're they're only open on like weekends and certain weekends. Like when I worked there, they were only open, I think it was two or three weekends a month, like two weekends a month or the first weekend and the last weekend of the month or something like that. And so all the vendors would get, you'd pay for an area. So you'd pick your area what of what was available, and then you would price and stock all of your items that you wanted to put into your area. And then you'd like uh, set it up so it looked nice, you know, like you'd set up this whole kind of, uh, what do you want to call it? Like this aesthetic of whatever you're trying to sell. And then you would go in during off hours and you would do this, you would stock everything and you would have your price tag and your little number or whatever. And then on the day that they were open, there would be a running uh, schedule of people who would just volunteer their time. Right, so you didn't get paid for working, but it was part of your duties. You had to work one day a month, for at least a six hour shift, one day a month. Um, and you could split that up if you wanted to work a couple like two hour shifts or four hour shifts or whatever. But you had to work six hours a month to be considered as a vendor. So when you were <clears throat> working, you would help customers to check out, you would explain items to them, you would uh, help carry things to the car. Uh, you know, bagging things or whatever needed to be done, uh, minus we, we never ran the till. We didn't do anything with the money, but we would just help people with their stuff because it's in like an old house. It's like a three-story house, which used to be like a, a, a historical 
oh what is it called um i don't know what they call it it was like where the girls would stay not the girls of the night the girls who were like <laughs> staying and working like the nurses it was like kind of like a hotel like back in the day but it was they just had little rooms for like all these ladies um like a boarding house i don't know if that's the right word but anyway so uh there was a lot of running because there's like three layers of the store and it's just cram packed full of stuff so i used to work at one of those in st croix and i also worked at one also in um center city at the same time when i was uh living out in st croix falls when we had just started the universe so that must have been in like 2018. Salvation Army and Goodwill. And then we have Second Avenue and a few stores of hospice, teen mission and church stores. LA they have a lot of vintage clothing stores. Dorm. Dorms? Yeah, they were kind of like dorms. It's a very interesting little place anyway. I didn't take a lot of pictures inside of of there and I, I didn't take any pictures inside um, vintage 136 because I was just shopping and forgot <laughs> for R 3127 I have three for Angel two for Blossom Learning five for Karen Nelson two for Sandy one for Carol four for Ange two for Debbie Golden one for Lois one for PK one for Tina one for Rita Two for Bonnie, one for Daniela, two for Linda Folk, and two for Kimberly. We have ten left of thirty-one twenty-seven. And Karen, I put you down for three of thirty-one twenty-six for the back order list. And Cherry, I put you on the back order list for the gears as well. Miss you, Sash. Okay, here we have R3128. We only have 10 of these ones. These are uh, 18 inches stainless steel pendant ready. Now, I believe we still have some of these on the site. I think so. Yeah, I think we still have some of these on the site, but we we're just running these ones because they were, we had gold, so we're like, oh, we'll offer a silver option. But we do have some of these posted on the site, just in case you're wondering, these are 18 inches, whereas the gold were 24 inches. Okay. Uh, we only have 10 of these. These are uh, stainless steel. They have all the findings, everything, just like the other ones. R3128, five buckaroos. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really enjoyed that working in that type of environment like only having to work you know like the one weekend or whatever but like helping the people and doing the store things like a vintage store type of situation and it was uh i would say it was a good learning experience for working with different vendors um because i was pretty close with the owner he's since passed away now um but uh i was pretty close with the owner and so we were there a lot of the time like um helping the new vendors to like help make their areas like aesthetically pleasing because you know how we talk about people don't buy a piece they buy the collection based on how it looks you know what i'm saying on the aesthetic of what it's giving like maybe it's getting maybe it's giving like farmhouse right so everything in the collection looks farmhousey so when people like that aesthetic they buy a piece but really in their mind, they're buying the collection and how it, all of it looks together aesthetically. So that's what we, I would help these gals do. 3128 is sold out. Sold out, she says. Visual merchandising. Yeah, well, if we had more time, we should do some visual merchandising over here at Thunder House. Bonnie, I have it on for one of 3120. For R3128, I have two for Ange, four for Debbie Golden, two for Blossom Learning, one for Linda Folk, and one for Sandy. R3128 is sold out. Kill the tub. Although, I will say, I cleaned off the table and it looks really nice. I will post a photo <laughs> of my aesthetically pleasing table. I'll even 
light the candles, Shannon. Mm -hmm. I love candles. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's the only place that the cats don't mess with everything. Boot scootin' Bess, I have you down for one of R3128. Boot scootin' Bess. <laughs> okay. Um, 27, I'm sorry. R3127. R3128 is sold out. 28 is the silver, yeah? Correct. Okay. We do, I believe, have them on the website, though. Yes, there is some posted already on the website that you could order with your order if you want to. One second, one second. Shannon, this rain is just making me dreary and making me want to drink a lot of coffee. And we have to eat raspberries today. But no PB&Js. No deep fried PB&Js. No, because me and Jeff went to the organic store and I bought blueberries like I always buy because mm -hmm. they're $3.99. Mm -hmm. And Jeff bought raspberries and guess how much they were. Six, eight, seven, ninety-nine. Yeah, <laughs> seven ninety-nine. And they're just the little one, the little square. And I don't even like raspberries. And I then he didn't them. eat them. And he left them here. <sighs> I just want to pass out. <laughs> I can't with this man. What are you doing? Oh. that we had eight super magnet sets to show you this week um and then i found another little stack so i don't know how many it is now one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten. is that right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen oh my gosh it's 16 i didn't know it was that many it's double it's double that I totally enjoyed visual merchandising when I was working. Retail is what I did all my life until I got hurt. I so loved it. Loved helping with the customers. Yeah, that's nice. Rose. Okay, so these are all different? I think so, but I'm not really. This one has a number. Well, oh, this is for all of them. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, what is going on? All right, so here's the dealio. Let's start with some sarcasm we're gonna give them a letter you want to do a letter all right we'll do this will be letter H letter H letter H this one is our sarcasm so if you're not familiar with our um, our super magnets we've we've been having Phyllis help with the super magnets to like set up the ones that are on the store and so one of these uh, super magnets will hold a calendar a whole calendar you just need one okay they're super 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 just like our super clasps and all that um so we make these out of bottle caps uh i print the photos and then we punch them out we do a, a glossy top on them and then they're in bottle caps and we glue those in and then we put the uh super magnets on the back and we sell them in sets of four for ten dollars okay so now just let me just say this once you go super magnets, I cannot be held responsible for when all your other magnets just pale in comparison and now you're mad because you got to buy all the super magnets, okay? I, disclaimer. <laughs> this one says, you people, 100% not leaving the house today. The answer is, nope, that's Shannon. A large group of people is called, no thanks, also Shannon. <laughs> Randy. They should just say Shannon on them. I think I had I own half of these. Ew, people. That was evil. I like the I love the, <laughs> the free hugs one. Oh the free hugs. Oh, I have two of those. This is eight. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on there. Is that good? Sure. Eight is sold to Nancy. Here's another sarcasm. This one is going to be M. So you get the four magnets and the board. Okay. These also make really good gifts, especially for housewarming. I found that out over the past. This one is letter M. This one is sarcasm. The answer is nope. A large group of people is called no thanks. 100% not leaving the house today. I am not for everyone. That one's me. 
That one should be Randy mm-hmm. right there. And it has like it looks like little kitty whiskers. <laughs> I am not for everyone. Letter M. M is sold to Kimberly. Kimberly. It will hold your tickets for the drawing? You know that's true. <laughs> These are super. I love the coffee themed ones I bought. Yay! Yeah, they're really super. They're really great. Here's a new, these are new design. Well, they're semi-new. I don't know, did we sell these last night? These are the goats. No, we didn't sell the goats because we, we gave all the goats to Gina. Gina got them all. Gina wanted all of the goats. Here's some goats. They're little baby goats. These are going to be letter Z. Little baby goats, if you want some. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Deborah. And Danny. Oh, she's been here. Hello. Yeah, they're little baby goats. Look, this one's sleeping. <laughs> These ones are letter Z if you want them. I want some lambs. Here's letter Z. Here we have letter L. More goats. So the only people who have these goats currently is Gina. And she has all of them. This is letter L. Good morning. I like this one with the little flowers in its hair. <laughs> letter L. And the goats. Good Monday morning. Hello, Donna. More goats. G. This one has a little sleeping baby goat. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. I love the, the first and the third one. This one. The little, the little baby. The little baby goats. These are G. Prudence, these are $10. $10 for the set of four and this little metal card. Good morning, these Dorothy. are handmade by us. And these are super magnets. If you're not familiar, they're super magnets. I started, this was one of the first products I really started making a long, long time ago. We've made, I don't even know many, how many thousands of these. Um, and this will, it's supposed to hold up to 12 pounds, one magnet. Now, I don't know if it's going to hold 12 pounds, but I do know that this will hold, one magnet will hold an entire calendar. Um, I have them all over my fridge. They're like the only thing I use. I have my takeout menus up there. I got my coupon books. I got a couple cards. Cards and uh, just like, especially when you start getting like wedding invitations and kid artwork and all that, you know. G is sold to PK. You need a super magnet. That's what um, all mine are hold- holding up. All the old Christmas cards. <laughs> Yeah. Of family. So I just use them because they have nice pictures on them. So I just keep them all over my fridge. Yeah. Okay, here's the last of the goats, I think. These are letter V. This one has a sleeping baby and a little baby. And a little jumpy baby. A little jumpy baby. These ones are V. Some little goats. Got a little glue situation. Danielle says you need to find some ones with some healers. Some what? Healers. Oh, dogs? Yeah. Yes, well, Randy's in charge of making the designs, and sometimes I am slow. As I am slow with everything, because there's just so many things. Although I didn't make Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, Bonnie says John loves his Bigfoot ones that she got for him. Yay. V is sold to Linda. Yeah, you can use these in the shop. You can use them in the craft room. I use them at craft shows to hold down on the bottom of my table to hold my my cloths down when it's windy. Like, you can do a lot of stuff. Okay, here's some sunflowers. These are letter I. Sunflowers. 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 Letter I. You want some sunflowers? We do also have some sets listed on the um, on the website under under the home and gifts section because we also make paper pads in case you were wondering like the case of like the kind of paper pads that you uh, make your shopping list on. So we have some of those posted. I gotta make some more of those. 
They're not expensive either. They're like five bucks because I get them at the Dollar Tree and then I put the super magnets on. I sold to Angel. We got some cats. I love the cats. There's the one with the fish. This one is letter B. Letter B is the one with the fish. And then look at this one. This one's got big doll eyes. This one wears a bow tie. Maybe this one's Mr. Bunsen. <laughs> is this one Mr. Bunsen? With his little bow tie? I don't know. I love the cats. These are letter B. So we just thought we'd run these through uh, because we have some posts online, but then these ones don't have photos. So we have to take, either get photos of them or figure it out, you know? B is sold to Linda. I lied. I have more goats. I have all the goats. I have all the goats. These ones are Y. I have all the goats. Letter Y for the little goats. Um, y is sold to Cindy. I have more goats. These ones are letter N. <laughs> this one is cute. It's just like what? Letter N. Sometimes you just need a little goats in your life. I don't know. I'm going to tell you. N is sold to Linda. Linda needs goats in her life. Oh my gosh. I think that one might be my, my favorite goat. This one right here. I keep pointing him out on all the ones. This one is letter D. And it's this little one. With those little horns. Look at those little horns. some hot glue strings here being funky look at his little horns so cute that one is letter d some more goats now i think that's all the goats d is sold to cindy poor cindy oh yeah okay we got one more of the uh sunflowers here uh letter x for sunflowers. If you're just joining us, these are our sets of four super magnets. They are handmade by Thunder Horse Descendant. Uh, you get the board with them, and they're ten dollars. X is sold to Kimberly. Oh. Kimberly, so cute. Krispy Kreme Eclipse Donuts. What? I could I could go for some donuts as well. Yes. I think we're just hungry. I mean, that's totally possible. <laughs> Looks like I got another um, sarcasm. Ew, people. 100% not leaving the house today. The answer is nope. Large groups of people it says no thanks. I feel like we just had this one. I think so, too. I think it's a duplicate. This is letter S. S is sold to Ange. S is for Ange. We've got three left. Well, this one is letter F, and this is more kittens. This is a little, little, little fish. I love that one. This one has like the biggest eyes. This one reminds me of Winter with her little eyes. But there's a white one that really reminds me of her, and then this one reminds me of Mr. Bunsen. <laughs> kittens. I just sold a Karen. Oh, waters. we have, we have, hold on. We have three, three of the same one. Was there more people who wanted F? This one is for Karen. As it turns out, we have two more of the same kittens. Also letter F. And that's it for the super magnets. I don't think we have any more finished sarcasm, Angel. There might be some on the website. On the website are to be posted. Was there any to be posted? Or restocked? 
I don't know. <clears throat> the process isn't quite complete yet. <laughs> it's, there there it might usually, be some on the website, Angel. It usually takes um, <clears throat> several days. Several days. So it takes one day um, to do the cutout of the photos. Well, no, let's back it up. I got to print the photos and go get them. Then we bring them home. Then we, we cut out all these circles. So that takes a day because we usually when we do do them we do them in like a like a large bulk situation nobody wanted these no those are still available these ones are still available yeah. okay we had a, a goat oh two goats we've got a z and an l okay you super magnets <laughs> We've got a Z and an L of goats left if anybody wanted those. Um, so then that takes a day and then we put on the, we got these clear covers that we put on um, and then it takes a day to get them all glued in to the bottle caps. We gotta let those dry overnight and then, uh, so you do those face up and then once they're dry, then we, flip them all face down and then we do put on the super magnets um, and then that takes 24 hours at least 24 hours for them to dry and then it takes another day for us to pair them up um, we have a book of all the ones that we have photos of that we have posted on the website so we can remake the same ones if we want to so we got to pair those up or we make new sets these ones that you guys are seeing are quote unquote new sets or they might have um, like different ones together that we don't have photos of. So we gotta get different photos of those. So we run these through and then whatever's left, we'll, Shannon will take photos and then those will be posted to the website. L is sold to Prudence. Oh, L is for Prudence. Yeah, so it's quite the endeavor, so let me tell you what. It looks like you only gotta take pictures of two, Shannon. Two is pretty some okay. Some goats and kittens. Some goats and some kittens. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. It's the she smash. Okay, just as a reminder, as we're moving into the next couple of things, it is ten seventeen. So at ten thirty, we are going to take our morning break for about eight minutes. So you can potty and get your snacks and do whatever you got to do. Oh, that looks so shiny. I put, I put um lotion on my face today in hopes that it would like keep my powder on a little better because I'm trying to be a person. <laughs> she just laughs. I'm trying to be a person. It's not going well. I look shiny. Like how you're not disagreeing. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Oops. <laughs> Okay, assorted super magnets are done. We've already done the deal of the week. That is done. We are now going to move into uh, oh, I will do, do, here we go. TF2098. We have 30 of these. They are $25 a piece. These are lab nugget strands from the TF. Where is it? There it is. These are lab nugget strands from Taylor's Falls. Let me give you the situation here. These are nice. Yeah. Oh, she so just do like Shannon does and just do like a whole bracelet huh? of these. Angel, the deal of the week was the first item. It is sold out. Deal of the week is sold out. It was a little bracelet doings. Um, okay, these are Labradorite Nugget Bead Strands. They're, because they're nuggets, they're little like the sizes. So it's like six or seven millimeters. The strand lengths are 14 inches long. They're sold by the strand. We have 30 strands, they're $25. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So that's like, is that a real song? 
No. Okay. It's fake. I made it up. Okay. Don't worry. Then that's fine. <laughs> Continue on. Continue on. <laughs> uh, let me. It's words and things and stuff. These are nice. Is that seven hundred dollars, or is that seven thousand dollars? For what? Twenty five thirty strands times twenty five dollars. Is that how much you paid Jeff? Mm -hmm. of, I don't know. Seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty? Don't drop that. Okay, that's what seven hundred and fifty to fifty dollars looks like. Cage your wedding. Don't drop it. <laughs> I think I did drop it. Um, yeah. But they're so good. So good, so good, so good. All right, so that's that. TF 2098. 30 strands for $25 a piece. Sometimes I just lose my mind when I go to the bead store. It happens. Especially if I'm in there too long. That is true. <laughs> for TF 2098, I have one for Karen, one for Ange, one for Kimberly. And one for boot scoot and buggy. Buggy? Buggy. <laughs> I think it's a buggy. I don't think so. These ones we talked about buggy. the other day. These are TF2099. We have eight of them. They're $25 a strand. These are chip beads. Ethiopian opal. So we had talked about these a little bit on, um, when was that, the members one? These are Ethiopian Opal. They're nuggets. They're $25, but you can see they are opaling. I, the lighting is not really going to give me the best way to show you because that's not how opals work. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. Uh, these guys are number TF2099. We have eight of them. And the size is anywhere between 8 millimeter and 3 millimeter because they're, they're uh, chips. And the strands are 16 inches long. Sold by the strand, 25 buckaroonies, Ethiopian opal. I'm usually not a huge fan of chip beads, but I really like these. Yeah. Well, it's because they're opaling. See? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see them opaling. I can see a little bit on my screen. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Let me do one of these numbers. See if this works. Gina, I have it on for one of 20.98. Donna, I have it on for one of 20.98. Karen, I have you down for a total of two of twenty ninety eight. I just like poking them. I'm just like poke, 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 poke. <laughs> Good morning, Donna. Donna Dragon Slayer's in the house. Donna Dragon Slayer's in the house. How's the moving? For twenty ninety nine, I have one for Ange. Alrighty. I make no promises about any of those making it to the website. Okay, now we have, oh, yeah. Shannon's favorite? She goes yuck. How's was moving. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear about your yuckiness. Lois, I have it on for one of twenty ninety nine. Oh, these are my favorite. <laughs> These are Shannon's favorite. Okay, here we have TF2100. They're $9. These guys here are Dragon Blood Jasper. Okay, these are 8 millimeter strands. Uh, I'm sorry. 8 mil... 8... Ten, 8 ten millimeter... Mil no, that's not right. 10 <laughs> millimeter <laughs> beads. 8, eight inch inches. strands. There you Woo! go. That one was rough. Okay. So, as you know, these are from, we got them at TF, but just based on the tagging, these are from Dakota Stones. So, let's talk about the difference between Dragon Blood Jasper and Bloodstone. Okay, these are different. 
So uh, these guys here, nine dollars a strand. We have five of them. Five. Of them. Five. So here's a close up look. Um, so these are two separate separate stones that we're talking about. So these are the Dragon Blood Jasper, which are from one is from Australia and one is from. That's a good question. The other place. <laughs> yeah. There the was another place. place. Anyways, they're from different areas of the country. Um, but also, so on the Bloodstone, the Bloodstone has like a deeper green color. So these, these ones, the Blood, the Dragon's Blood Jasper have a lighter green color. And the matrix of it is made up differently. So like on a Bloodstone, it's dark green. It's kind of almost like a solid green. This being a Jasper, it's going to be more speckly. Okay. So, in case you were wondering about that, it is worth a Google. Me and Shannon had a fun time with it. But there we go. Uh oh. Houston. we're back I think we just had a glitch everybody push the live button yeah even mine's not up to date push your live button we had a glitchy glitch Prudence I have you down for the last one of 2100 Karen wrote a little description oh she did dragon blood jasper is a fusion of green Fuchsite with red jasper from Australia. Dragon's Blood Jasper Energy is both practical and brave. Thank you, Karen. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. All right. Moving on. We got a few minutes here before our break for the day. Now, these are going to be the same stone. TF2101. These are $8. These are eights. So it's the same stone. It's the Dragon Blood Jasper, but in a size eight. Eight dollars for eights. This is all eights. Eight dollars for an eight inch strand of eight millimeter beads. <laughs> I hope you guys have been getting your orders from last week and seeing those really nice. I'm waiting to see some photos come out of who's using those appetite. That we sold last week. Woot. Yeah, it's really good. It feels really nice. That could be because I feel a connection to it, but it does feel really nice as well. TF2101 is sold out. I almost bought these All strands. of them? Yes. <laughs> and the tens. I'm not a huge fan of tens, but I was like, mm. Ooh, I like the these tens. These are nice. Yes. I did like the tens. I mean, I like them all, but, you know, I was in my little bead phase, but on those, I'm like, ooh, tens are good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of 10 mils just because I like the smaller. For TF 2101, I have one for Tina, two for Miss Tacos, one for Nancy Sullivan, one for Angel, and one for Laverro. TF 2101 is sold out. TF 2102, we have some six millimeters in the same stone. Now we only have four of these. The four of these, these are six millimeter dragon blood jasper bead strand, eight inches long, four of them, seven buckaroonies, or some sixes. 2102 is sold out. Ta -da, ta -da. Uh oh, that's a real song. <laughs> <laughs> for TF2102, I have one for Miss Tacos, two for Ange, and one for Angel. TF2102 is sold out. Darn it. <laughs> Cindy. Here's your last chance, Cindy. We got fours. We have fours. Um, these guys here are... TF2103, uh, four millimeter dragon's blood, and I will say that these are looking to be matte. 
they seem a little matte versus the high shine on the others. I'm just letting you know. I didn't even recognize that when we did the skewless. They don't look too matte though. No, I think it's just because they're so little, I didn't realize. I mean, they're not like super little, but you know me, I like a chunky monkey. Look at this. There you go, Shannon. Look at you, you'd be going. I wanted the big ones. Oh, you could do multi-strand. <laughs> Six dollars for the fours. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. TF2103, six buckaroonies for the four millimeter Dragon's Blood Jasper. 2103 is sold out. We're cruising now. For TF2103, I have two for Ange, one for Cindy, one for Angel, and one for Blossom Learning. TF 2103 is sold out. Hi, Tina. Um, did you say you were going to do tools today? Uh, we're just going to restock the tools to the website. So they, when we say restock, that means that they already have postings. We just have to go in and because they all sold out. So we just have to go in and put the number and then they'll just repost. So Cindy, you did get one of TF 2100. The 10 millimeter. Oh, Angel made us some stuff. Hint, That's your logo sweet. is involved. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Angel. Well, we're excited, Angel. All right, we good? Okay, so let me show you what we have left. We only have this many items left, but we are going to go ahead and we're going to take our break. So we have coming up matte carnelian, rhodochrosite, lapis, um, and a bunch of turquoise from Capitos, Campitos, Mexico, the Campitos mine. I don't know if that's how you say it. And we have giant broke pearls, okay, at the end. So, uh, just a few items left, but we are going to go ahead and we're going to come back at 1040. It's 1032 right now. That's eight minutes. Do your potty. Do whatever you got to do. Uh, get snacks. Do things. And then I'm just going to, we're not going to end the video. I'm just going to put on the break screen so you guys can still chat and stuff. So we'll be back in eight minutes. Let's see. There we go. I remembered.
Me and Shannon are pretty pathetic. I said, well, I got a pack of crackers we could split. Cheese crackers. We have to get our emergency breakfast foods together. Okay, so we are back. I can't wait to see them. Mm -hmm. We are back. We are back. We are back. I hope everybody made it back. We'll give them a little hot second to get it together. Well, look at it. All these people slow driving us. Oh no. What you see? I don't know who that is. Sign people? Yeah. I did notice, I think that sign was kind of crickety. Street sign people? You like your strong coffee? I need it in my life. <laughs> All right, we are back and we are going to start off with <clears throat> one hour and 18 minutes until the start of the eclipse. Fun. Fun. Well, we don't get to see it, so. I know. It's kind of, like, we can't even see the sun. It's really dark here. TF 2104 is the next item. These are 10 millimeter matte carnelian stones. Again, um, you, they're $10. You want one of these. These are from Dakota Stones. They are eight, mil, uh, eight millimeters. I can't get that out of my head. They're eight inches uh, strands for 10 buckaroonies. If you want some tens, these are TF 2104 10 millimeter beads in the matte carnelian. Good morning, Gina. You like vanilla coffee? Um, yeah, I like vanilla coffee. I like, I like all the coffee. <laughs> you want to know what though? I am, uh, I like Folgers coffee. I'm just basic. I don't with just a little bit of creamer in it. Yeah. yeah. And I've resorted to using powdered creamer. Because it's just easier <laughs> to have to not worry about liquid creamer. There you go. Good morning. For TF2104, I have one for Miss Tacos, one for Gina, and one for Ange. We have two left of 2104. 2104. Although, I made some tea the other day. I was using my little tea set. I think I saw a picture of that. Yeah. Need and I made, I made some for Jeff because, you know, Jeff likes tea. And then he came home and he was like, this tea is way too strong. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, you got four tea bags in there. And I was like, yeah. but it, And? <laughs> but it was a pot of tea. It was like a pot of tea, not like a cup of tea. 2105. That's funny. It was that breathe right tea, the ones I like to drink so I don't get sick. Here we have a uh, eight millimeter round of the matte carnelian. Eight inch strands, $9 for eights. We have five of them. 2105 is the number. TF2105. Yeah, I do this little tea mix, and it's I get uh, one is called Breathe Right, and that's the one I think that Shannon got me from her aunt. Was it that one, or is it the Immunity? I think it was the Breathe Right. I I know I gave you like two or three. Like, I like the Breathe Right. It has hibiscus and mint, cause I was like, ooh, mints. I don't know if I'm gonna like that, um, or peppermint or something. And uh, it's like a mix. Anyway, so I use that one, and then I use the Immunity Boost, and I mix them together. So whenever, you know, when you go outside and it's like whatever dreary or you have wet hair and you get that little <clears throat> in your throat and you're like, oh no, mm -hmm. that's when I have that. <laughs> and then it just goes away. And I'm like, thank you. Because <laughs> nobody got time to be sick around here. 
TF2105 is sold out. I love the Breathe Right. Can we see those close up? Sure. So these are the same Carnelian. These are from Dakota Stones. Uh, these are the same matte Carnelian as the tins, just in the size 8. For 2105, I have one for Ange, one for Miss Tacos, one for Tina, one for Carol, and one for Rebecca. TF2105 is sold out. Sold out, they said. Blossom says she likes green tea with ginger. Mmm, I, I know, I love ginger, but Shannon's totally against it. I traumatized her with some ginger candies one time. It was a large piece she of refused. terrible candy. <laughs> terrible candy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like ginger with like sugar on it from the it organic store. It was like a store. large cube, like a one, one and a half inch cube. <laughs> Thank you. It was terrible. All right, next up we have uh, TF2106. We have five of these. They are $8. These are the sixes. Now I will say these are a little lighter than the others. And we have five of them. 2106 for some six millimeter rounds, eight inches. I have some of those ginger candies. <laughs> I told her they're a little spicy. <laughs> they're a little spicy. You don't want to just jump right in with the whole thing. I don't think she did. She just took a little nibble. We have one left of 2106. 2106. For TF 2106, I have one for Rebecca, one for Ange, one for Tina, and one for Miss Tacos. We have one left of 2106. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy, I have you down for the last one of 2106. TF2107 is the last matte carnelian. These are more, um, these are $7 for the fours. And these are more like the sixes, the, the more orangey, not so dark. So these are eight inch strands from Dakota Stones. They're $7. These are four millimeter beads. We have five of them. 2107 for the fours. Mm. 2107. For 2107, I have two for Ange and one for Gina. We have two left of 2107. Those would make nice little spacer beads or Maybe you know how you made those dragonflies. Oh, are yeah. those too big? No, those That'd would be, be cute fun. on that. Rebecca, I have it on for one of twenty one oh seven. We have one left of twenty one oh seven. All right, we have TF twenty one oh eight. We have 13 of these guys. These guys are rhodochrosite, four millimeter. Okay, let's check out this. I was really, <clears throat> these guys are $14. And I wanted to just mention, look at this polish. It's like high shine on those little bad boys. Look at that one, so cute. Uh, these are quite the strands in my personal opinion. So these are fours um, and they are $14, but the strand length is 16 inches. So if you broke those down in eights, then they would be $7 for an eight inch strand. So that's pretty good. I actually really like these. These are from the high quality case. Mm -hmm. The like 
expensive case they're of really tea. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. These are pretty. <laughs> yeah, they are yummy. These are TF2108. We have 13 of them. And they are really good. They're 14 bucks, but they're really good. What's this yellow one? It's just a fun little yellow one. Mm, that one's really cute. They're also cute. You know me. I love it when they look like little planets. Like they mm -hmm. look like their own little... Little world. I love that too. Yeah. good okay tf2108 the rotocrosite bead strand four millimeters we have five left of 2108 for 2108 i have one for Ange, one for tina two for boot scoot and beth one for rebecca one for angel one for nancy sullivan and one for danielle we have five left of 2108 Making up my own songs so YouTube can't get me. <laughs> that you, you that I know think, of. Yeah. I think you are. <laughs> TF2109. We have 14 of these guys. These are lapis. They're $12. And these are some little guys. Because you know I've been in my little guy life. But they're so nice. They're cute so they are. cute. These guys are three millimeter lapis lazuli bead strands. The strands are 16 inches long. These also came out of the high quality case over there at the TF. Let me just zoom in so you can see a little better. Get it to focus better. And there they are. Just being cutesy. Cutesy little guys. There they are. Pop buckaroonie. These would be cute on your little dragonfly, Shannon. So. Oh, these would look nice with either the pink or the oranges. Or the carnelian. Look, you could just make a little tiny bracelet. It's so small. So small, so cute. So cute and small. TF2109. We have 14 of these. They're 12 buckaroonies if you want one. I like teeny tiny beads lately. Yeah, lately. All of a sudden, Nancy. Now, let me just say, coming in with the eclipse. <clears throat> the eclipse is supposed to be bringing change. That's what everybody's talking about. The change out with the old and with the new. And I'm like, huh, is that happening? And apparently it is. <laughs> Around here, anyway. And I've been really like, because you know I like some chunky monkey beads, but I have really been getting into just these little teeny tiny beads. I'm just like, what's going on? Or maybe I'm just late to the party and it has nothing to do with the eclipse. And I'm just like, oh, maybe they're cute. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but there's been a lot of changes going on around me. So I'm like, hmm, maybe it's a real thing. TF2109 is sold out. Sold out, they said. You all go to your, your new homes and have a lovely, spectacular life. For TF2109, I have two for Ange, one for Blossom Learning, one for Karen, two for Angel, one for Rebecca, one for Sandy, one for Kimberly, one for Nancy Sullivan, one for Sherry, one for Carol, one for Beth, and one for Debbie Golden. TF2109 is sold out. Sold out, she said. TF2110, we have some turquoise. These guys are $45 a strand. They are wonderful. These are Mexican from Mexico. From the Campitos, is it Campitos mine or Campitos? This is what we have. 
We have seven of these. They're $45 a strand. And I will get you a little bit more information here. Yeah, look at those. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that, Shannon? I do like these. <sighs> Bead size. Ranging seven to eight millimeter. Strands are 16 inches long. They are sold by the strand. These are also from the expensive case over at the TF. Um, so we had a little discussion. If you can see here, there's a little bit of pyrite, um, a little bit of pyrite matrix going on inside of those. They are a lovely color and there you go. Nugget style, super cute. They're very yummy. Just let you eat them. I make no promises about these making it to the site. <laughs> They're doing all the hearts. I cannot afford, but I would love some. These they are, are one of my very nice. favorite stones. Yeah. Excuse me, back. Who's going to get some? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, there they are. So let's take a look, see. Debbie, um, there are five left of 2108. Do you want one? So good. So me and Shannon had a whole talk about turquoise. It was telling her about the mine. Um, we pulled out some of my Black Beauty turquoise and took a look at that and how it's different. See, look at this pyrite in here. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Debbie. I have it on for two of 2108. There we go. TF 2110. Seven strands of those. 45 buckaroonies if you want some. Maybe I will win the lottery. Maybe, Prudence. I heard three people in North Dakota want it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Karen. Karen, I have it on for one of 2108. Oh, eight. You can't go wrong with silver and turquoise. <laughs> I have a question about the chain. Okay. Don't forget about the pay in for installments. Yes, that's also true. Um, so we've always had a firm in case you're in case you're wondering, we've always had in a firm, which is where you can make four payments. You schedule your payments like you, you sign up with them. Like if you, you use it as an option on the website, so on our website, and if you want to choose it as an option, you fill out a little bit of information and then they set you up where you can make your payments for, you know, separate your big number into four payments, whatever. Um, so we don't have anything to do with that. We're not charging that. That's something automatically that comes from a firm. And the only way you get that option is if the item, your items, your order is over $50. Or if it's something, you'll see it on the website underneath, it'll say like, oh, use a firm. It says it on certain posts. It's because those posts are listed as over $50. But let's say you put a couple of items in your cart and your cart totaled $50, then you could still get it as an option in your cart. So I'm just letting you know. Yeah, we just learned this a couple months ago. Yeah. And I thought it was up on all the website, but I guess mm -hmm. it was the, I fixed it anyway. So now you can see it as an option yeah. on the post. DF 2110, 45 buckaroonies. We have two left of 2110. For 2110, I have one for Karen, one for Rebecca, one for Mary, one for Beth, and one for Nancy. We have two left of 2110. Oh, Cindy's niece is getting married in Hawaii. That's fun. Laverell, I have it on for one of 2110. We have one left of 2110. Here I have TF 2111. I only have one of these. I, I, I don't know if I accidentally grabbed it or what happened. This one is a different price point of $35, but as you can see, all of the matrix has been removed. Now, some people are into that. It is from the same mine. Um, I only have one. 
2111, $35. All the matrix has been removed, so it's just the turquoise and uh, gives it a little different look than what we were looking at previous with the black matrix. 2111 is sold to Angel. Yep, some people are more into the to that look than others. Thank you, Danielle. I have you down for the last one of 2110. Smash, smash, what island? Maui? That'll be fun, though. I need to have money to blow on a pineapple when I get to Hawaii. <laughs> Selling pineapple for $3. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Okay, our last item, last order of business here is the giant baroque pearls. Now these are giant. They are giant. They're $18 a piece. <clears throat> Tia, 2112. Okay, let's see how giant they are. Ranging 30 millimeters to 17 millimeters. Shannon, can you hand me the hoopa jobber? The hoopa jobber. Thank you. Marker came with it. So. Thirty-two. So that's over an inch and a four. By twenty-two. Okay, so twenty-five is an inch. Okay, so those this is like they're all a little bit different, but that's the gist of things around here. And we have eight of these. Randy, which one did you just measure? Four, five, six, this one. Seven. Karen wants that one. We have seven. We have seven of these guys. So these are also from the expensive case at TF. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with this one. So it, we have seven of these if you want one. Um, these are like the ginormous, okay, let me just show you. The ginormous pearl where you see those girls with the front toggle necklace and they got one giant pearl on there this is your giant pearl <laughs> have you seen that i've been seeing that all over the place so there we go they got a hole in the bottom they got a larger hole in the top it's just the way of the world right and there we go 21 12 21 12 is sold out They're so good. So good. Realdeal.com. For twenty-one twelve, I have three for Rebecca, one for Cindy, one for Karen Waters, and one for Karen Nelson, and one for Beth. Twenty-one twelve is sold out. Popular here are small three or four millimeter gemstones, the 20 millimeter coin pearls. I have sell a, out every week. Have a good day, Gina. Well, that is smashing. Yeah, that Karen. is really good. Karen have a good day, a Gina. Karen has a question. Does plated stainless steel chain tarnish? Is there such a thing as anti tarnish chain? Um, no, there's not. A thing. It's not a thing. Good question, Karen. Everything will eventually tarnish um, in one way or another. So uh, the 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 plated stainless steel is that we just sold, like in the chains today, are less likely to tarnish. Um, but it kind of depends on the process of which things are plated. So stainless steel is probably your most, probably your best surgical steel, stainless steel, surgical steel is your, um, your best option in silver, in the color that it is, in silver. Less likely to tarnish over, over other things. The reasoning is because it's, it's stainless steel, like 
I don't know why it doesn't, but it just doesn't. And surgical steel is like what they use in surgeries where they can wash these things, these tools, these things they're using and wash and dry them and do all these things and they don't tarnish or rust, right? Now, most things, um, when they have like, say, gold over the stainless steel, it is less likely to tarnish because it bonds the stainless steel really easily. It depends on the situation. If they're dipping into a solution of gold, like melted gold, and they're dipping in, do they dip once? Do they dip twice? If they dip twice, it's significantly less likely to tarnish. If they dip once, it is possible, but then they heat it with what they call like ion heat, where they, they dip it and then they put it in an oven, or sometimes they'll spray it and then put it in a, like a super hot oven, and it bonds with the other parts of the metal. But that is kind of a difference of like, if the metal were to come off, like if the plating will come off versus tarnishing. Most things will tarnish based on how you treat them. So I am a horrible jewelry owner. <laughs> horrible. Yes. And I keep stuff in the bathroom where you should absolutely not keep stuff. <laughs> Why? Because when you shower or bathe, you're putting humidity into the air. The humidity is, is part of what is going to make things tarnish and rust, right? Because it's water. Uh, so you don't want to do that. Uh, if you're swimming with things on, there's always a likelihood that things are going to, are going to, you know, have a harder time. Now, base metals tarnish quite often because the gold that they're putting on or the silver they're putting on over the top doesn't bond as well to base metals. Base metals are a mixture of metals. They're, it's got all kinds of metals in there. Nobody, they're, it's just, it is whatever it is, right? <clears throat> Now, interesting enough, people think, oh, sterling silver would be my best way to go. Sterling silver is one of the worst offenders for tarnishing, like where you have to clean it up. Um, sterling silver, in my opinion, and stainless steel, we've had this conversation. I would take a stainless steel or surgical steel over a sterling silver, although sterling silver is a pure metal, right? and it's not being coated with anything um it is n uh, usually 9.25 or 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 silver that is 9.25 what that 9.25 stands for is the other 0.75 is unknown metals and it could be nickel it could be alloy it could be aluminum it could be anything else so you're more likely to have a reaction with a 9.25 metal than you would a surgical steel metal or a stainless steel metal. If it's not, you know, specifically to the steel, you know what I'm saying? Um, so everything at some point will rust. Air pollution causes tarnishing, rusting. If you wear perfume and you spray right in this area, you're, you're adding alcohol to your metal, you're adding fragrances of some kind aerosols lotion lotion oils you know i wear a lot of essential oils different things hair products like we're adding a lot to the jewelry to the metal which could cause all kinds of tarnishing but if you're a good jewelry owner and you clean your jewelry regularly you really shouldn't have too much of a problem i especially if it is stainless steel i literally don't even know the last time the only time I clean it is when I'm like, gosh, this looks real bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it should take a while with stainless steel if you treat it right, though. Air pollution causes metal to tarnish. I have been wearing an 18 karat gold over bracelet for almost two years. No tarnishing, no loss of gold. It is from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. That's good, Laurel. So... Yeah, that is very good. So uh, that kind of goes to the point of like the double dipping chains. So me and I believe it was Miss Karen had a conversation because remember I told you guys I, I bought some chain from Vintage in that sale. And the reason I bought it is because Mackie was on there talking and she said that they double dip their sterling silver metals. Was it sterling silver? She, yeah, she was talking about the, the silver. I don't know which one, 
but she was saying that they double dip them. And I'm like, okay. Because they dip them, and then they heat them, and then they dip them again, and then they heat them. So the likelihood of those tarnishing is, is very small. Or flaking off. Yeah. There's a difference between it flaking off and like the, the, the top metal coming off of the base versus a tarnish. Vintage chain does not discolor or tarnish. If you buy the higher quality ones. Anytime you buy a base metal, you, you may get some tarnishing. That's what I'm saying. Like, eventually in life, everything may tarnish, okay? It might take time. It might be due to the elements it's involved with. Maybe somebody's wearing it in water all the time. Uh, <clears throat> but most likely, what I like to use is I like to use coated stainless steel or stainless steel if it's a silver. I will use sterling silver if it's the double-dipped kind. Um... I don't really wear a lot of, uh, like, silver or silver. I mean, I guess I do wear this ring, but even this ring, uh, this is uh, a 9.25 ring. This one is silver, and it tarnishes. I wear it all the time, and it always tarnishes. It's not bad, but it's like, uh, I can tell that it's, you know, tarnished or whatever. So I have a little cloth, and I just use that, my sunshine cloth, and I just clean it up if it's really bad, but honestly... I'm always in water, so that's bad. <laughs> um, Carol had a question about skunk beads. Skunk beads. Where's Carol? She's a liar. Carol, Randy, have you ever heard of skunk beads? Yes. We might have some on the website. I don't know if we still do. Oh, did we take them back? We might have taken them back. But we've sold them before. Yep. Uh, Taylor's Falls has a lot of skunk beads. Uh, Taylor's Falls has one of the largest um, African trade bead collections in the Midwest, if you are unaware. And Jeff just got, he just did a buyout for a lot of a money. A lot of money. So he has a lot of stuff. Um, and yes, so I have heard of skunk beads. And they're very, they're very similar to shaman beads. Um... So these are African trade beads generally from like 1800s mm -hmm. um, and they can be different colors. They can be black and white. They can be blue and white, blue and, and white, white, red and white. I think we even had a, like maybe a pink one, like blue and pink. I think that was an accident though. What? That was a medicine. Medicine man bead. bead. Yeah. Yeah. So they are, uh, uh, Carol, they are generally pretty expensive if they are genuine beads. I think... I think those strands range anywhere from like 50 to $200. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, they're, so those are pretty, pretty spendy depending on uh, how old they are. So the price is based on how old they are, what regions they're from, what and colors the they are, and what the condition is. Prudence has a this is off topic, but I was thinking of going to my first craft fair. How many pieces do you take? That would be exciting, Prudence. <laughs> Let's see. I take two boards of necklaces. Up to three earring racks. Up to three earring racks. Each each necklace board holds 22 necklaces. So I take two necklace boards. It's 44 necklaces. Uh, up to three earring racks, depending on how many tables I have. Yep, the space. And I have a bracelet board that holds 44. 40? Yeah. 22 on top, 22 40. on bottom. About 40. And the earring racks can hold what? 100, 150 each? Yeah. They're crazy. Yeah. They're big. Uh, up here, I sell a lot of earrings. So that's why I take so many earring racks. Generally, um, the reason for that, I take so many earring racks uh, is because I go to... Uh, when I was going to the uh, farmer's market, farmer's market, um, I would take a lot of earrings because these people are not people who are expecting me to be at the farmer's market. Um, because they're there to get their produce, and then and then so it was like, oh, if you have twelve dollar earrings, that might be something that they're willing to splurge on. Versus, and I'm gonna bring less necklaces, so like maybe one board of necklaces so I bring 22 necklaces uh, because those are you know 
anywhere from twenty six to $100. Yeah, $150, right? So they're not going to expect to be spending that at a farmer's market. Now, if I went to a, like, we're going to go to Anetta. Uh, Anetta. And Anetta is a craft show. It's a craft show that I've done for a long time. People expect to see Thunder Horse Descendant there. We're the first thing you see when you walk in the door. We have three tables. It's like a big thing where we Huge. sell a lot of stuff. So um, I will bring more of the more expensive pieces because people are expecting to spend money when they're coming to that type of show. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it kind of depends on where you are at. If you went to, um, I don't do Renaissance fairs, but like I know Rosanna does re Renaissance fairs and things. Those are big, usually big money places. People are expecting to, to, to spend, spend money there. Um, it also depends on the time of the year. So like Christmas time, people are expecting to spend money. So you can bring higher ticket items. Um, you can have some higher ticket items and more of uh, smaller ticket items like earrings. So that's why I bring multiple racks of earrings. Um, and then we also do the, the, like the earring prices. Yeah. So we have like an easy little cheat sheet and it has, we have three different, three, three price points. Four. Four. And then we take a paint marker. Yeah, the paint markers, and we'll dab it on the earring card so it's easy for them to see. Yeah. So it's like a color coded dot system. Yep. And we stick the color coded dot card graph thing. So, so it says uh, yellow is $6, red is $9, blue is $12, pink is $18. Yep. And we stick it to the top so. The thing spins so you can always see the price and then we just have to put a dot on each earring card so that we don't have to go through and price every single pair of earrings for the 400 pairs of earrings that and I bring. then they don't have to take it off and look at the back some people don't like doing that yeah so then they can have an easy way to see how much it is yeah well I want to say that it is um, that's a lot <laughs> I'm gonna try it's in May you could do it, Prudence. So it just kind of depends on. And the thing is, is if you're just short, if you're just starting shows, you're not gonna know what kind of show it is because you don't know because you're just starting. So like some of these shows I go to, <clears throat> and I'll try them a couple of times. Like recently, last last Christmas we went to the Christmas show. Everybody talked about how great the Christmas show was supposed to be, and there's all this traffic. Great turnout. Yeah, and there was there was a lot of turnout, and there was a lot of people. Um, but as far as sales went, I made my table fee back. And, like, that's it. And, like... Maybe 200 Maybe 200 Maybe. Maybe. It was bad. Which is pretty bad for a crap for... Well, because... And I had, what, two tables? It was two or three. Mm -hmm. Three. Was it three? Two or three. I had two or three tables. I can't remember which. Uh, so, you got... You know, you're paying 100 bucks a spot there. And so, but everybody said, oh, it's supposed to be this really great show, all these people. And I was like, okay. And there was a lot of people who came and looked at stuff. Um, and I don't know if the show was just so massive that there was too much to see. And we were right in the front of the door. So that can be a good thing because when people first come in, they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But then they say, oh, well, we want to see everything. You don't want to spend all your money in one spot, you know. So then they go off to see other things, and this show was so massive that by the time they probably got down to the other side of the school, you know, they were either broke or tired, forgot all about me. <laughs> so it kind of depends on. But now, so I have been thinking about that show. I think since I've only done it once, I might want to try it again this year. Shannon's making a face. But, you know, you should try it a couple of times. If it's really bad I do this the year, other one. <laughs> the other one. I might do that one. Um, if I do it and it's okay, then, you know, then I'll, I'll kind of get a, an idea of like, okay, these people like, so I'm already thinking like, okay, if I do this show again, I sold a lot of magnets. I sold a lot of earrings. I sold some bracelets, very few necklaces. Uh, so I might bring less necklaces one necklace board three earring racks and more magnets. a bigger space more like a more um spaces for magnets and maybe one bracelet rack to make room for the things that i know have sold 
But these are only things you know that if you, you know, if you're going, you know, if you're, you're if this you've is the second before. time. Yeah. yeah. Blossom Learning has a question. Blossom Learning. What about a bazaar? What do you mean? <laughs> like a, like a bazaar. Uh, I would consider the Christmas thing to be like a bazaar. Um, craft shows around here. I don't know. Uh, up here in the Midwest, they have pretty massive craft shows. Some of them can be smaller, but like they have a lot of massive craft shows here and street fairs, like art shows, art fairs, whatever. Like where they'll like close down a street and they'll have vendors, or like at the, all the Fourth of July things, they have vendors. Like there's always all these things going on and they're pretty large and it's like you don't you just really don't know until you try you know and like I was doing Cambridge Art Fair and when there was a lot of traffic at Cambridge Art Fair that one was on the street mm -hmm. um, a lot of traffic a lot of looky-loos very few pur purchasers very few and I went to we go two years in a row I think we went two years and it, I was like nope this is in our venue and sometimes you know that's just the way it is it does it it kind of depends on like what you make what your style is where you are that's always important mm -hmm. who the who the people are who's coming and how much money they're looking to spend and what you bring to the table it's like a whole thing craft shows <laughs> my sister just went to a wholesale bought earrings for two dollars a wholesale and bought earrings for two dollars well she bought earrings for two dollars or she sold earrings for two dollars i'm confused don't sell your earrings for two dollars let's start there <laughs> don't do that <laughs> even for wholesaling even for wholesaling there no Wholesaling should be your cost, like at cost, depending on how many they're going to make, how many they're going to buy, she bought. Yeah, well, those people should not be selling their earrings for $2. <laughs> she got a good deal, though. Yeah, she got a good deal, but don't do that. Because you have to be able to make another pair of earrings, right? So this is how little businesses, little handmade businesses go broke. Because you have to be charging your... As we say, you know, the little math equation. So you have to charge your, your how much your items are worth, how much your items are, your supplies. You literally have to know how much they are, add that up, right? And then multiply that times two, because you have to be able to make another one. Once this one sells, you got to make another one. If you don't have any money to do that, you're losing money. Okay, then you're going to factor in your time. You're gonna pick a number to pay yourself. I pay myself at least $22 an hour. You're gonna divide that. Say it takes you 15 minutes to make something. You're gonna divide 22 by 15 minutes, right? So now you got that number. You're gonna add that to your multiplied supplies, okay? Then you're gonna you're gonna total that up and you're gonna say, is there any overhead costs? Is there any overhead costs that I'm going to charge for? Packaging, lighting, I had to take it to the craft show, I had to take a picture of it, I had to put it on the website, I had to do all this stuff. Maybe that's a dollar. You add that on there, then you get your cost. That's how much it costs to make this item. Hello! I didn't know I was supposed to be making I'm money. Mary. Neither did I, Mary. <laughs> the last two shows were tough ones for that concept yeah i know mary and it you know but it might be a, it's a lot of things like it's like who's there who's at the show what you brought what you didn't bring who was with you how are you acting in your booth you know How's your booth set up? How was your booth set up? Was the lighting good? Was there another thing going on in town that day? Like, there's a lot of stuff. So, I wouldn't take it as, as anything. I would just take it, whatever you did learn as a learning experience and then try to adapt to what is in your area. So, like, I always go to Annetta. Annetta's always been a really good show for me, you know, and stuff like that. But... 
it's a traveling show. I have to travel to go there, but it's a good show. So I go, you know. Here um, in town, I mean, the farmer's market is pretty good for me. I don't ever sell a lot at once, but the buy-in is only $10. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bigsby. Put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I turned on Do Not Disturb. At the farmer's market, it's only 10 bucks to get in, and every time I go, I make at least 100 bucks. So if you look at that math-wise, I'm actually... And it's only a couple of hours, too. And it's right around the corner. Yeah. Is it <laughs> two, three blocks away? Three blocks away, and I can set up by myself. I don't need help. So there's all that stuff. But that kind of that's kind of the thing, sitting on inventory, you know, stuff like that. So... You know, you got to run to the post office and ship all your orders and all this stuff. But quite honestly, I would much rather sell online where these things can be available 24 hours a day versus for, you know, for, what is it, $136. They can be available 24 hours a day online to whoever, all the people in the world who want to buy them versus going for one day paying $236 for a booth space because I got to buy two or whatever and being there for eight hours and being limited to the amount of people who are going to come out to that show so that's kind of a thing you know and that's what people are really weighing when they're looking at selling on the internet these days but I will say there that I do both because I feel like there's people who are not on the internet who are not going to find me. So I always look at every show as, even if nobody buys anything, I just look at it as a, as a marketing technique. Any person who comes to my booth, I will give them a card. I will tell them I am online. I will tell them where to find me. I will invite them to the Facebook group. I will say, come to the YouTube videos, whatever, to get them involved with Thunder Horse Descendant. And I take that as my main purpose of being there to do advertising for myself so even if they don't buy anything they might later take the card like I do when I go out to all of the shows and I come home and I go oh yeah I remember this lady and I go on her Etsy store and I go oh, look at all these things on that store that I can order at my leisure after making an informed decision and looking at all the items that are available you know so I do that that's the thing but if you don't have a store or a Facebook or a group or whatever for anybody to go to, to to at least be able to get into contact with you and be like, hey, do you have any of this? Then the advertising aspect might not work for you. It's so expensive for a booth. This is a great show. Yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling. I could ramble about this for days at a time. Look, I'm getting dangerous. I have to stop. <laughs> Shannon back. just takes it away. <laughs> Listen, it's hard out here for the bead people. I was <laughs> I was just out at the store and uh, me and all my girlfriends, you know, and then uh, one gal was saying something and I said, Hey, can I just make can I just make an announcement? Can we just pay jewelry makers like good money for for making art? Everybody wants to be cultured. They don't want to pay for art. Hello. <laughs> and they were like, yes, let's just do that. And I'm like, right, right. Let's do that. Let's not just be being like, oh, we would like to give you $5. And I'm like, well, I have a mortgage. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I might say that if I was in a mood. Anyway, this makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm just going to jump into it. You can do it, Prudence. Don't be nervous. At the end of the day, you're out there doing it. That's more than some people can say. Some people are still hiding out, and they're like, I am too scared to show my things to other people. And this is why we are not like that. Because if you're putting all this work and effort, you got to get it out there and show it to people. And who cares if they think it's good? If you think it's good, that's all that matters. And people don't know what's cool until you tell them what's cool anyway. <laughs> don't worry. 
If they're like, oh, this is ugly, be like, let me tell you eight reasons why it's cool. Okay, first of all, it's got this really cool clasp and these cool stones. It's convertible. You could wear it with jeans, wear it with your Johnny Cash t-shirt, you know, whatever. <laughs> Some people aren't making ugly jewelry so they can sell it. What a burden. <laughs> you guys. All right, y'all. I've been blabbering. I have to stop because we have things to do. Um, I do want to say I appreciate all of you who are here, who are still here, <laughs> listening to this. Um, I hope you are all having a lovely, spectacular, amazing beating day. And just to recap... We are going to sort out all of your orders now. That's what me and Shannon do. We get all of our things. We sort them out into your own little box, your own little cubby. And we go through everything and we make sure everything is, is how it's supposed to be. And then Phyllis is going to come around after our lunch and she's going to take a photo. She'll, she'll take a photo of all the orders. And then I'll start to do itemized um, invoices. invoices. I, that word just will not go in my head every time we do have a couple things left but <laughs> not not too many yeah not too many um so i'll make the invoices and then i'll start posting them up you can expect them to all be posted probably about by about eight o'clock tonight and at that time you can whenever yours gets posted you can go ahead and purchase it if you want to off the website um focs are still posted mm-hmm FOCs are posted. Oh, by the way, I reposted, I restocked nine dollar bead bags because they were all sold out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so FYI, new nine dollar bead bags on site. Um, and yeah, so you'll just visit www.thunderhorsedescendant.biz and you will go to the bead store. There's three little tiles when they first pop up. If you're on your phone, they're this way. If you're on the computer, they're this way. You're gonna click bead store. It's a clickable thing. You can click it. Click. And it'll say bead store. You'll go into the bead store, and then on the side, it'll say custom orders. You click that, and then you're just going to look for your name. Okay? Thank you, Brandy and Shannon, and all the chatters. We will watch in the replay. Take notes of all of our information. Thank you so much. I had a wonderful time. Could you do a series on getting ready for a show? Uh, Boots, Goon, Beth, you might want to check out our Facebook. No. Our, uh... YouTube? YouTube. I'm sure there's... Oh, maybe those are member-only videos. They might be on... Are you a member? She doesn't have a duck. You're not a member. Okay. Um... Mm, Randy will think on it. I'll oh, write it down. Yeah, Shannon will write it down. Good, good, we'll, we'll good check job, Shannon. We will, we will, uh, we will, we will look at that. <laughs> all right, guys. Any hootie, I hope you're all having a lovely day. Thank you so much for supporting Thunder Horse, the Horse Descendant. Without you guys, we would go be working back at the cheese factory. We don't want that because we like beads and stuff. We're following our beady dreams. <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.